Hello everyone. So today's topic is difference between succedaneous teeth and non-succedaneous teeth. Now this is a, an important concept uh, that needs to be grasped and students often find it confusing. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of confusion between succedaneous teeth and non-succedaneous teeth uh, and we'll hopefully we uh, try to clear this up. So what are succedaneous teeth? So succedaneous teeth are those permanent teeth that actually replace the primary teeth or they succeed the primary teeth. Now in this uh, picture of a, uh, of a maxilla and a mandible of a child shows us that they are, uh, we can actually see three teeth that are growing inside the, uh, inside the maxillary bone and three teeth that are present in the mandibular bone. Now these three teeth, now this is a permanent canine which is going to replace the deciduous canine followed by uh, another, uh, this is the first premolar which is going to replace the first deciduous molar and this is the second, uh, second premolar that is going to replace the second deciduous uh, molar. So these teeth, uh, the canine, the first premolar and the second premolar, all of them are succedaneous teeth. And the reason why is because they're they are going to replace these deciduous teeth. Similarly, uh, the central incisor here and the lateral incisor both are permanent and they have already succeeded or replaced the primary teeth. So they are also succedaneous teeth. Now, uh, in each quadrant, there are five permanent teeth. Uh, the central incisor, the lateral incisor, canine and premolars. And these succeed or take the place of the five primary teeth, the central incisor, the lateral, canine, and the deciduous molars. And so these are known as the succedaneous teeth. So succedaneous teeth are those permanent teeth that replace the primary or deciduous teeth. Now, so the question arises, so what are non-succedaneous teeth? So non-succedaneous teeth are those permanent molars and namely the first, second, and third permanent molar that do not succeed the primary teeth in each quadrant. So uh, what exactly does this mean? So if you can see in this picture, uh, there is a first permanent molar here. Now this permanent molar has no primary predecessor. There was no deciduous molar present here and it erupted without uh, the presence of any other primary tooth. So this is an this is a non succedaneous tooth. Similarly, the bud of a second molar is visible here. The second permanent molar and the third permanent molar, all of these three permanent molars are non succedaneous teeth because they do not replace uh, the primary predecessors. Hope this has been uh, useful to you. If you have any comments or queries, please write in the comment section. Thank you.